Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a quick look at the PAMU Slide 2, the latest active noise cancelling through wireless earbuds from Padmate Tech. First, let's have a look at the design of the PAMU Slide 2. The battery case the bots come in has a unique sliding mechanism which opens and closes the lid. It would only make sense to call them slide because of this very fact, but actually there is another reason why they are called slide, and that's the up and down sliding action for the volume controls, which we will talk about in a minute. What the name also indicates is that this is the second generation, but I never had a chance to test their predecessors, so I'm only going to focus on the new guys here in this video. So the slide 2 comes in this sleek and good looking case. The lid is easy to use and it pops firmly into place at both ends thanks to the springy mechanism. The buds are relatively easy to grab, but I could imagine a bit more space around them inside the case so I could have a better grip when taking the buds out. The build quality is ok, but we get loads of that squeaky plastic and the case is also too big to be carried around comfortably in tighter pockets. So the general design is cool and everyday use is ok too. But what's more than ok is the features we get including the 26 hours of total playtime, the USB Type-C port on the back, the large battery status LED strip on the front, and the Qi wireless charging support. Onto the buds they can last up to 6.5 hours with a single charge according to the official specs. And my own tests can only confirm that as I managed to squeeze 6 hours and 25 minutes out of the buds using the AAC codec on iOS at 50% volume streaming high res music from Kobas. The active noise cancellation was turned on all the time. This is a decent performance. And if we turn off the ANC which means switching to wind noise reduction mode, the single charge playtime can be as long as 7 hours and 16 minutes according to my own tests. And don't you worry, I will explain why I think wind noise reduction is actually ANC off later on. But back to the design, the buds are made entirely from plastic and they weigh in at around 5.6 grams each. The slide 2 buds sit nicely and comfortably in my ears and their fit is also snug enough for a Sunday morning run. And the IPX4 rating can apparently come in handy when you get caught in a shower as it makes the earbuds sweat and rainproof. We get 5 sets of silicone ear tips in the box along with a USB-C cable and a nice little carry pouch which can protect the case from getting scratch marks when tossed into a bag or tucked into a larger pocket. The PAMU Slide 2 comes with Bluetooth version 5.2 with support for SBC and AAC. No fancy high-res codecs here, but we get a low and an ultra-low latency mode which reduces the lag significantly. And while that feature will make gamers excited as it works pretty well, I personally found latency perfectly good enough in normal mode already when watching videos or movies. Connection is mostly stable, but I had experienced a few glitches during the last couple of weeks of testing. Once I had both earbuds connected to my iPhone, but music was playing in only the right bud, while voice prompts for example were still coming through both buds. A couple of times the slide 2 disconnected from my iPhone, but in a few seconds the connection was re-established without me having to touch or restart anything. I believe that these are problems that a firmware update can fix easily. Single bud mode is available, but switching between the two buds is not quite as smooth as you would expect, as it always takes a few seconds for either of the buds to reconnect to your source device. And we also get multipoint support. It was not really highlighted in the spec sheet or in any of the marketing material I got for the product before testing, and I couldn't find anything about it in the quick start guide either, so I kind of discovered it by accident. But cross platform multipoint use is there and it works with seamless automatic switching between two devices and that's great news. Now let's hear a few quick audio samples from the mics on the earbuds. I'm in a quiet room right now and my voice is loud and clear enough but it sounds a bit too digital to me. Now this is what you can expect from the built-in mics with some loud background chatter thrown at the buds. My voice remains easy to understand and the ambient noise gets filtered out efficiently, making the phone call experience good enough even in a crowded place such as a coffee shop. And for a final test, let's hear how the PAMU Slide 2 can handle some traffic noise. 
there is a nostril slight breeze out here, so you can also get an idea of what the mic can do about wind noise during a phone call. Onto the touch controls we get all the functions we might need at our fingertips. We can control playback, tracks, volume, ambient modes, voice assistance and phone calls. The controls are customizable but we can only remap the functionality of the double tap and the press and hold actions in the PAMU smartphone app. Single tap is reserved for play pause and we can adjust volume with a sliding up or down motion on either of the buds. And with the exception of these volume controls, every other action registers with a high level of accuracy. The reaction times could be faster though, especially with the press and hold action. And the sliding volume controls are kind of a hit and miss. Sliding down is ok, but I couldn't really make the slide up action work properly, as I did not only knock the buds out of position a couple of times, but I also kept pausing the music accidentally, because the earbuds register my sliding attempts as a single tap action, which is play pause on both buds. And since the single tap action cannot be disabled, nor can it be reassigned in the app, it made me stop using the volume controls after a while. Maybe with a bit more patience and practice I could have figured out a way to use it more precisely, but I believe it's the job of the engineers to come up with ways that just work easily without too steep of a learning curve. But as always it's just me and my greasy little fingers and again all the other controls work perfectly fine and you can always choose to reassign the volume controls using the PAMU app. However in this case you will have to sacrifice other functions, but the option is there nonetheless. Moving on, automatic play pause is available thanks to the smart sensors on the buds. There is a switch in the app for this feature called in-ear induction. Other than this and the custom touch controls, the app can offer a few additional features only. There are some EQ presets even though we don't get the option to tweak any of those sound profiles manually. There is the game mode switch, you can update the firmware of your earbuds and we get some settings for the active noise cancellation too. There are three different ANC modes we can choose from. Audio pass-through, aka transparency, ANC on and wind noise reduction. And there is something I have to explain here. I believe wind noise reduction is actually ANC turned off. I'm not sure what's going on because in the app, below the three main ANC modes, there is a mode selector where you can choose which modes to circle through when using the touch controls. In mode A you can skip between transparency and ANC on, but mode B allows you to toggle through all three modes. There is transparency ANC on and instead of wind noise reduction it says ANC off. Or at least it does on iOS, on Android it's called wind noise reduction. There is no ANC off option anywhere else in the settings and even the voice prompt says wind noise reduction, but this so called wind noise reduction doesn't really do any noise cancelling whatsoever in my experience. And on top of this, the buds always turn on with wind noise reduction mode enabled and I also managed to run the buds almost an hour longer in this mode than with the ANC activated. And all these facts point in the same direction and that's that the wind noise reduction is actually ANC turned off, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm completely wrong here or maybe it's just something they will have to fix in the next software update, I don't know, but regardless of what the different modes are called, let's see their performance. Audio pass through is not the most intense I have heard, but at least it sounds quite natural without too much of a hiss and it can give you a good level of awareness during outdoor activities. There is a vocal enhancement switch with a low and a high setting, which amplifies higher frequencies in transparency mode, so you have a better chance to carry out a conversation with someone without having to take the buds out of your ears. There is wind noise in transparency mode, but it's not as ear piercingly harsh as on some other buds. Wind noise gets even better or almost completely eliminated in wind noise reduction mode, but in this case you will lose the benefits of being aware of your surroundings. The active noise cancellation does a really good job at taming low frequency hums and rumbles, while it keeps all sorts of traffic noise and even human chatter at bay. The high pitch noise cancelling performance of the buds actually came as quite a pleasant surprise, as usually this is an area where more affordable buds tend to deliver mediocre results. But not the PAMU slide too. 
Wind noise is not that bad either with ALC turned on, so it's an impressive performance overall, with one caveat. During my tests I found that when I was playing some white noise like airplane cabin noise through my speakers, I got this popping, cracking noise coming from the buds. It's like listening to old vinyl records, but worse. This issue was not present in any other scenario and I couldn't hear any of it during everyday use either, only when I turned on white noise and especially when I cranked up the volume of my speakers. The second I turned it down or turned it off, the cracking sound was completely gone. True, I didn't get on an actual plane just to see if the issue was real or not, and I'm also not sure if it's just my sample or not, but whatever the case, I hope that it can be fixed through a firmware update. But apart from this one cracking noise issue, I'm quite happy with the noise cancelling performance of the PAMU slide too. And true bass heads will be impressed by the sound of the earbuds as well. The 10mm dynamic drivers are made from a composite of titanium and pen, which apparently stands for whatever you can see on the screen right now. But regardless of what the membranes are made of, they can deliver an impactful and punchy bass while retaining clarity and sparkle in the treble. But the bass feels a little bit loose at times, it's not quite as snappy as I would like it to be, and it also bleeds into the mid-range, making it less pronounced and clear. As a result, the vocals get less of a highlight, in fact, they can sound quite recessed, while certain instruments sound darker and more sweet than they actually are. Soundstage is spacious with good separation, imaging is precise enough too. The maximum volume is best described as brutal, and that along with the thunderous bass and the clear highs can please those who like such a really dynamic and energetic V-shaped sound signature. It suits all sorts of modern musical genres, such as EDM, R&B or hip-hop, but it's less suitable for listening to classical or acoustic music. And before I wrap things up, let me tell you that I got the earbuds from the manufacturer for testing a couple of weeks before the launch, but no one had any influence on what I was telling you about the product, nor did anyone was provided with any preview privileges. So all you got was my honest and unfiltered opinion, based on my own personal experience with the earbuds. The Indiegogo campaign of the Slide 2 is about to launch around the same time this video is being published, at the beginning of July 2022, so if you want up-to-date information on availability and pricing, then click through one of the links in the description, and you might be able to get an early bird discount as well. And this takes me to my conclusion. During my tests, I was mostly impressed by the general performance of the PAMU Slide 2, especially when it comes to active noise cancelling, charging, battery life, and in certain scenarios, I was enjoying the bass heavy sound a lot as well. The controls work well with the one exception of the volume controls, the app has some useful features, it's easy to use and it gives the bots the potential to fix some of the issues I encountered through a firmware update. We got wireless charging, low latency for gaming and good phone call quality. But up until the last minute before filming this, I had been under the impression that these buds were going to retail for $79. But as it turns out, it's not quite the case. But as long as you can grab these buds for around $80 with a super early bird discount, then I would say you made a good deal, and everything I said about how impressed I was by their performance stands, because these buds can easily compete with the likes of the Earphone Air Pro SV or the One More Comfobuds Mini. But for $160, which seems to be the actual retail price of these buds, according to this official pre-launch site, I'm not so sure about that value anymore. We are stepping into one more EVO Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro and Sennheiser CX Plus territory here, and honestly, 160 is a bit of a stretch to me. So, the solution is, go grab one cheap while you can. Link in the description. And this was my review of the PAMU Slide 2 through wireless earbuds. I only hope you liked the video, hitting the like and the subscribe button would be much appreciated, and as always, your comments and questions are welcome. Thanks for watching. See you next time.